you know, obviously Bob Iger has his hands full. He's got to run a lot of stuff. He's now dealing with strikes and all of that, but also he's dealing with not just like financial fallout, uh, but also just critical fallout, you know, from audiences going to his movies and, you know, from Disney, from Marvel, from Pixar and not enjoying it. And yes, it's going to hurt the bottom line and it has lately, uh, but also it just hurts the excitement, the 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 support for the brand and so he spoke to cnbc loss of john lasseter years ago for example been a blow that you haven't been able to recover from well first of all there's a there the the studio and its movie assets are number one at the global box office this year so far um that said we're extremely realistic and i'm very objective about that business and there have been some disappointments we would have liked some of our more recent releases to have performed better it's reflective for not as a problem from a personnel perspective, but I think in our in our zeal to basically grow our content significantly to serve our. All right. <laughs> I just got to stop here for a second and say, like, OK, like they're they're being really nice to him. OK, they made this graphic for him. All right. I could tell you these estimates are way off. <laughs> Like at least from like the, like if you're talking about estimates being like, like two weeks out, a month out, they're way off from those. This is like when things got real bad for these movies and they started being like, oh crap, we're not going to make nearly as much money as we thought. Those estimates came in and that's what they're showing. And a lot of these movies are below those. <laughs> so like they're like CNBC is being like really, really kind to Disney right here <laughs> and being like, oh yeah, yeah. The estimates were, the estimates were this. And it's like a month before it definitely wasn't <laughs> like, like even like the Indiana Jones one, like 60 million. Oh, okay. Well it made, you know, it made its estimate. Yeah, that's like the estimate that they had once everything fell apart. <laughs> the estimate for for Indiana Jones, like the first one that I saw was like I think it was 70 to 80 million. So like that's a big difference, okay? And that one actually is one of their better, you know, better producers for them, but I mean the Pixar one, 35 million estimate. Yeah, on like Thursday of its opening. <laughs> Like it's, uh, I'll leave it alone. But I was, I saw that and I was like, wait, what? Significantly to serve our, uh, mostly our streaming offerings, we ended up uh, taxing our people way beyond in terms of their time and their focus, way beyond where they had been. Marvel's a great example of that. They had not been in the TV business at any significant level. Not only did they increase their movie output, but they ended up making a number of television series. And frankly, it diluted focus and attention. <gasps> he said it. He said the thing. All right. He said a couple of things with that. One thing, if you are a, like someone who worked on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you got to be ticked right now. You got to be real ticked. <laughs> like, what do you mean? They haven't worked in television in any significant way. <laughs> uh, that that would be that would be shots fired. But also, just like he's saying what we've been saying for a while now, and I don't like he's picking on Marvel, and he doesn't really pick it up with other stuff other than you know Pixar and uh, immediately coming to Disney Plus. People are expecting to eventually see it on Disney Plus, so they're not going out to the movie theater. He talks about that, but this is all across the board for Disney projects, right? Like it's, it's been diluted. He is right. Diluted, diluted, however you want to say it. Uh, there's just too much content out there and it's not good. <laughs> like it, it's not to the same quality, uh, because you aren't able to have, like, you're trying to push so much out as he says for their streaming services that you're trying to push all these things onto that platform. And so things are getting through and it's not as good as you would hope. So, but you know, you got to get that content out there. You got to be producing, you know, here, here I am on YouTube. I know how this goes. You know, you got to make these videos. Not everyone is going to be a banger, but you know, I'm, I'm a YouTuber and, uh, you know, they're a multi-billion dollar company. So there's a little bit of a difference. Let's see how he finishes up. You're seeing that is, I think more the cause than anything else. 